Hi, uh, welcome to the day three of uh, AI in testing challenge by the Ministry of Testing. And uh, my today's challenge was uh, best ways in which AI is used in testing, which means I mean, not talking about factual possibilities, but uh, areas in which people have been using and are using AI in testing. So these were the task steps. I mean, re research to discover information on how AI is applied in testing, three or more different AI use cases and note any useful tools that, that uh, you find or know, and then reflect and write a summary and then create a post uh, on that. So what I did in this process was that uh, I stumbled upon this uh, webinar which, which was a meetup webinar by Ask UI on uh, revolutionizing testing with chat GPT and AI. And this webinar was taken by Siddhant Vadwani, so he, who is a SDET manager at Newfold Digital. I thought that uh, instead of skimming multiple places, I mean, listening to such webinars where the speaker have condensed all the relevant information into a one hour session, would be more relevant and that's why I decided to start with this uh, uh, video. I have watched this and uh, also took my notes. So here are my notes. I just added my context that uh, uh, what was the source which was revolutionizing testing with ChatGPT and AI on Ask UI YouTube channel. Presenter was Siddhant Vadwani and I created it as a part of day 3 of 30 days of AI in testing challenge by Ministry of Testing. And uh, this is me, Rahul Parwal. So the, the webinar talked about like some core big testing challenges because each solution is a solution to some problem. So first we have to find what are the common problems of challenges going on. Uh, pretty much these are challenges which goes on with uh, every team. Lack of time, lack of test coverage or poor test coverage. Uh, to say inconsistent results, pass, fail, uh, not able to reproduce issues and then time spent in reproducing and reporting bugs. So a lot of time testers put in in actually reporting bugs and writing things down and repetitive steps and steps to reproduce and so on. So these are like some of the core day to day work challenges that testers face and uh, then the talk talks about certain opportunities that uh, uh, with AI coming into the picture, uh, code is no more a restriction. So uh, you will not see that like people are restricted by code. Now AI enables people to write and create code that can help them and uh, solve some challenges. For, for example, automate some repetitive tasks, whatever they recognize in their workflows uh, or analyze some vast amount of data or even to help them enhance their test coverage. So if they want to enhance their test coverage in certain aspects, they can use AI to brainstorm ideas. And uh, that's that's an interesting possibility that has now come up uh, and improve the defect detection uh, by analyzing data or uh, by analyzing patterns. So there are now even tools that are co coming into the market on, on, on these lines. And I'll uh, talk about that uh, in the last section of this mind map. And the next is a usage of AI in testing, which was the core aspect of uh, uh, how you could use AI in testing. So four key use cases uh, uh, at a high level, and then there are multiple sub points. So first one is automated test case generation. So you could use AI to write test cases based on user stories. So you paste a user story and then ask it to write a test case or a requirement or acceptance criteria and give you some set of three to four good ideas to cover that uh, requirement. And then even for automation, you could pass in a test case written uh, in a human language or English and uh, ask it to write, for example, write this scenario in Selenium C Sharp, how would that happen? And uh, try to use that. So maybe that will help you to even get some boilerplate code or something. So uh, potential time saving and test execution and result analysis. So ask it to generate, uh, for example, test data that I want some test data ideas for these kind of things or certain edge cases, or these, these are my reports and results and uh, maybe generate a HTML report with such kind of view uh, through G GPT or AI. 
and then maybe a sample bug report draft a bug report that this is the issue this is what i found and uh, can you write this based on a specific template that that you can create and always uh, share with gpt and then gpt writes uh, and formats the data because a lot of time goes uh, sometimes in formatting the data and arranging things so potential time saving there uh, you can also ask it uh, for your defect prediction and prevention topics so, for example especially with code you can ask it to add exception handling so that you are not uh, struggling with your own code exceptions and all those are handled and managed properly optimize your code another good area where for example if you have existing written course code you can share it with gpt to optimize it or share it with these ai tools to optimize it and that's that's a wonderful powerful potential add comments find issues maybe if there are issues or potential issues it can even uh, uh, help you with that and apply maybe design pattern to solutions or ask it that what design patterns would be most relevant in this case and even for test management in terms of prioritizing test cases or analyzing test results so these are potential areas where usage of ai is happening in testing and then uh, in the end i mean certain tools like this github copilot which 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 is more of a pre ai bus tool which which was certainly created before this chat gpt uh, got popular and then code gpt is a vs extension which like uh, in a it's kind of a chat gpt for coding so like that amazon code whisperer something on similar lines open ai chat gpt google gemini and then there are these tools that i know of bagasura and yati which which you uh, uses ai or can use ai to help testers with their bug reporting and management as well as their exploratory testing or systematic testing needs and test data and so on so uh, powerful tools powerful use cases i see a good number of use cases especially with coding and co code related topics and certain topics with test data and uh, things so all in all this is this is a powerful tool and uh, even when i when i went uh, here I, i replied with uh, my high level key takeaways which which uh, i feel are this test case generation or writing or drafting test data generator test checklist generator report generator example in html format optimizing code error handling exception handling bug reporting drafting and then these tools uh, bing copilot code gpt google gemini yati bagasura this is uh, my summary which which uh, i have added in the club and uh, which i was just talking about so thank you and uh, see you tomorrow in day 4 and uh, do share your feedback if this is helping you learn something about ai thank you bye